There we go. Try this at 130 power. Zoomed in a little bit more so we can get a better view of their heads. Looks like it should stay in focus. Our lighting is just about right. There she is. See how much she's going to give. Maybe she'll feed him up all the way full this time. Watch these little heads go. We'll get us a head count once we get it on the computer again. It certainly looks like five, so there we are. Well, we're getting a little bit of a breeze, but she's going to hang in there and give them a good feeding. And you can see a little bit of the whitewash on the sticks on the nest. That's because they're old enough now they can fire over the edge. Save on the house cleaning. <laughs> That's our Cooper Hawk nest. We've watched from March when they're hauling in the sticks and everything, getting their clutch eggs together and all the incubation. And now they hatch and this is a day 10 after they hatch. So they're 10 days old now. We're just thoroughly enjoying this. We're able to document everything on this nest because we can see everything. It's not very deep and we don't miss a thing. And it's only 130 yards from my car. I'm in my car with my window mount and I'm using the best camera you can get for a Canon SX60 power shot for just a little over 400 bucks. It's a great camera, all digital zoom self-focusing and everything comes with it you don't need any attachments i highly recommend it they have newer ones now the 70 but this is a canon sx60 power shot and uh, i think they have the 70 sx70 now i may try one of those later but right now this one's working fine and we get to watch the feeding She's going to feed him up. I'll watch and see how long she goes for it. And I just decided to check on him one more time before I go home, and here we are. A great feeding. You don't usually get videos like this. They're at the cute stage, and it's they're all lined up where you can see them, and the lighting is perfect. So we'll watch the Cooper Hawks having their feed here. All little heads going up and down. Everybody gets full. We like that. It's a great feeding. They can really stretch their heads up. She gets a bite for herself too now and then. <laughs> if one would get too much that they couldn't swallow, she pulls it back out. I watched her do that too, so they're really good at that. They keep a close watch on the little guys. They won't let them eat bird's feet when they're too little, otherwise they choke on it. There you go. Heads are just a-going again. It's a perfect nest, they call it. Because it's shallow. You can see the little guys. And in this nest, we haven't even missed a thing. The day they hatched, we actually seen her with eggshell in her beak, so... We got the incubation time down perfect and went the full 36 days. They started pipping on day 35, because they don't just burst out, they have to start pipping. And they hatched on day 36. And here it is, day 10, so they're 10 days old now. And they all appear healthy and vigorous, that's for sure. And she's able to leave them at 50 degrees for 20 minutes. So, and then she comes back and warms them up. So, like I say, they're getting quite vigorous already. Well, they're enjoying this feed. She's gonna top them off and then they'll sleep all afternoon. <laughs> Then before bedtime tonight, she'll probably give him a little more. That little one is flapping his wings a little bit. Another week or so, you'll see him exercising in the nest, so that'll be interesting. All good stuff here at this nest. 
There the little heads are going. Well, a lot of the songbirds have quit singing. They had a little sprinkle earlier. and I was watching the scrub jays, and we've got a green heron here also. They also have great blue herons that fly over, so she keeps an eye on them. Makes her a little nervous, a big bird. In fact, this nest, it started out originally as a, a great blue heron nest, and then the, the coopers have added to the top and decided to use it this year. And their other nest is only like 50 yards away, and they uh, use that for caching their food now. They got uh, food stored in there, and then if she needs it, she can fly over and get it. She's going to feed them up good. All right, we'll see a lot your finish up. She's just about done, I think. All right, they're having a good one. 